Hi, my name is Joyce Marendes, and I am so excited today because I have Robbie Wells here with us and I would like for you to get to know him. I'd like for you to get to hear from him and to just see here the amazing things that he is doing because he is breaking limitations. Robbie. Well, hello everyone and thank you so much for letting me be here. I appreciate that. You're Amy. welcome. Uh, my name is Robbie Wells and I am seeking the Democratic Party's nomination for President of the United States here in 2020. I was an educator and a college football coach for 20 years, served in the Army National Guard during the middle of the wars with Afghanistan and Iraq. I've been the CEO of a very good business in Charlotte, North Carolina. Currently, I am the ambassador for the International Human Rights Peace Commission, which has allowed me the opportunity to go around the world and speak in front of thousands of people and in front of government officials on foreign soil about my plan to promote world peace by achieving global sustainable energy independence, improving education, and eliminating homelessness. Wow, that's really, really awesome. That's a, 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 an amazing resume. So if people were to ask, who is Robbie Wells? Like, where did you come from? Because I know maybe some people don't know your background or anything like that. So what would you tell them? Well, well you know, Amy, it, you know my story, but everybody out here does not. But it's truly a miracle that I'm here today. I am the least likely person that you will see uh, saying that he's running for president. You see, it truly is a miracle that I'm even alive. Many years ago, a, a beautiful young girl that went away to college on a music scholarship, uh, she ended up finding herself pregnant by a man that was older and married. And everyone told her, just go ahead and terminate that pregnancy to the point where they set her up an appointment to do that. And she said, no, I'm gonna give this child a chance. And I've always said if I could meet her, I would thank her for setting my life in motion because that's my birth mother. Mm -hmm. In fact, four years ago, I did. And now my birth mother and my adopted mom, we all get along great. We do, we do holidays together. So I'm, I'm one of the only people that you'll probably ever meet that can say he's got two moms that adore him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. Wow, that's a wonderful, wonderful testimony. And just to see, is she proud to see what, um, what you've turned out to be? It, it was really... Uh, a neat experience when I got the phone call and the first time I actually spoke with her mm -hmm. and she had no clue really? and when I told her I said well you made a good choice because she didn't know mm -hmm. she didn't know if she had or not for all those years Wow! and when I told her that I, she had done well and now I was running for president of the United States she fainted she, she went out oh my goodness she yeah, actually fainted she actually fainted but it was okay <laughs> Oh, yeah. wow, isn't that amazing? And I think one of the things that really caught my eye with, your, uh, with you running for president is the fact that you're a Democrat and you're pro-life. And so could right. you talk about that a little bit? A absolutely. And yes, I am the only pro-life Democrat that's running for president of the United States. Now, you got to ask yourself, well, Robbie, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. I'm sure people are asking that. Yeah. I do not want to overturn Roe versus Wade because if we do, that we, we would go back to back alley abortions and nobody wants to see that. Mm -hmm. What I do want to see happen is uh, a plan, which I do have this plan, that will create an environment that encourages young girls to have children. How do we do that? We do that with universal child care. Mm -hmm. We oh, do yeah. that with eliminating income tax on the poor. Mm -hmm. We do that by creating millions of great paying jobs here in the United States mm -hmm. to achieve sustainable energy independence. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, free college education for every American citizen uh, to all the state schools and universities. So I believe that that will create that environment that encourages young girls to have children. Mm -hmm. So that's where I come and that's how I am a pro-life Democrat. Mm -hmm. But everybody here in Texas and really around, around the entire country I'm going to need your help to make this done. Yeah. To make this happen. Yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely. That's really good, especially the universal child care, because child care is really expensive. Think about this right now. It is expensive. It, on the average across the country, it's $300 a week for mm -hmm. a child. Exactly. That's $1,200 a month. Mm -hmm. Well, what if the young lady ha is a single mom, right? Mm -hmm. What if she has two children? Mm -hmm. She's looking at $2,400 a month on average. Yeah. And if she's making minimum wage, she's not going to make it. Mm -mm. 
Okay, so we've got to change that. Exactly. We've got to change the whole system. Mm -hmm. That's really awesome. And also one question, um, one other question I had was on immigration. Yes. So what is, because I know immigration is a really big deal. It really is. So um, what, what, is your, what is your take on that? Well, I do have a plan for immigration to return the United States uh, to its rightful position as the beacon light of freedom for the entire country. Mm -hmm. I believe that you win with people, not with things. Okay. We will build bridges, not walls. Okay. Here's what I mean by by winning with people. Mm -hmm. We are going to double our border patrol without raising taxes. And here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna dissolve ICE, mm -hmm. take those 20,000 positions and retrain those people to be border patrol agents. Once we have a secure border, then my plan, Service for Freedom, mm -hmm. comes into play. Okay. Anyone from Central South America or around the world that wants to come in, we will allow them to come in. Okay. They can serve either in the military, the local, the state, or the federal government for four years. Mm -hmm. They will earn a wage that is taxable mm -hmm. during that time. Okay. They will learn the English language. They will learn about the history of our country and, and what the people have gone through to make this country what it is so far. Mm -hmm. And at the end of that four-year process, these immigrants are going to earn their citizenship. It's called Service for Freedom. It's actually already a law. I just want to expand it. To expand it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I know we are we are out of time right now, but this is awesome, awesome. It was so nice to have you here. And definitely I'd like for you to come back again, and then we can have another session where you can go in details of the plans that you have for, for this coming election. Thanks so much, Amy. And go to riseupwithrobbie.com riseupwithrobbie.com make sure you spell Robbie with a Y and you can donate to the campaign you can see exactly what we're doing you can get involved with this campaign we need your help because we can all come together and we can rise up and we can make this country what it, it was intended to be from the very beginning and can you also give them um, your Facebook and Instagrams exactly mm -hmm. the easiest way to get me on all that is go to the campaign website riseupwithrobbie.com mm -hmm because we've got all the social all media the links there. there. Okay, yes. great, yeah, because social media is big, so that's really awesome. So guys, thank you so much for logging in and keep following, follow me on Facebook, and then also go ahead and um, go on the website and look up Robbie, and you'll be able to get more information about the, about the campaign. Thank you so much.